poke that subscribe button for more. Parakeets are friendly birds that have made great pets for bird lovers all over the world. A parakeet is more than just a pretty thing to look at, though. Bringing a parakeet home means making it part of your family. These social birds will want to play, chew, talk, and be in a home where they can bond with people. They also have regular needs for which you will have to provide. If you are willing to put the time in to socialize and care for one, though a parakeet may be the right pet for you. Decide if you are ready for a 15 to 20 year commitment. You'll need to account for a parakeet's lifespan before deciding to get one. A healthy parakeet can live for 15 to 20 years, which is way more than many cats or dogs and most small mammals, but less than larger birds like parrots. If you plan to travel or make lifestyle changes in the future, a parakeet might not be the best pet for you. Determine if you can handle their personality. While personality varies from bird to bird, most parakeets share two values. They are social and they are stubborn. When a parakeet is let out to play, it will want to socialize directly with you. It will also want to chew and peck around the house and will leave droppings anywhere, including on the furniture and on you. Parakeets are intelligent and can be hand-trained. Consider if this is something that appeals to you or not. Consider the noise level. Parakeets don't squawk all the time, but they will make a loud screaming noise at least once a day for several minutes on end up to half an hour. If there is someone in your home who needs lots of sleep like a child, or is otherwise sensitive to noise, a parakeet might not be the right pet. Determine how much time you can commit. Parakeets are friendly social birds, meaning that they need daily attention. You need to be able to commit time every day to cleaning your parakeet's cage, changing out food and water bowls, and socializing with it by playing, talking, and hand training. Prepare to have multiple birds. Unless there is someone in the home, in the house to socialize with most of the time, your parakeet will probably want a friend. Think about whether you are ready to keep two birds at one time, which will double the noise, social time and cleanup, but also double the love and affection. Evaluate your household activity. Parakeets are easily stressed and susceptible to hurting themselves or weakened immunity when anxious. If you move frequently or have an active household, such as one with small children, it may be difficult to keep your parakeet healthy. Consider your other pets. Having a cat, dog, snake, or other predatory pet could be a risk for your parakeet. While many homes have multiple types of pets, it requires very careful attention to every interaction. Think about the demeanor of your current pets. Even a well-trained cat or dog who just wants to play could accidentally hurt your parakeet. Measure the space you have to give the bird. While some choose to keep parakeets in small cages, they are typically much happier in larger environments. Make sure you have the room in your home for a cage that is large enough to fit your parakeet, its food, its water dishes, multiple toys, and multiple perches, and still give the bird room to fly. Factor in your time away. Parakeets aren't birds that can be left alone if you travel or are away from home frequently. Think about whether you have someone you trust to come feed and check on the bird. Avoid getting a parakeet if someone in your home has health issues. Consider if you or anyone in the family has a weak immune system. Birds can carry diseases that don't make them sick but can be passed on to people, such as Giardia and Campybacter. If someone in your home has a weak immune system, 
a pet parakeet may not be appropriate for your circumstances. Add up regular expenses. On top of initial setup, keeping a parakeet will require you to regularly buy food, chew toys, treats, new bowls, and supplements like mineral blocks. These are not typically high cost items, but you still need to be prepared to regularly spend money on your bird. On top of that, you may have unexpected vet costs if you notice your parakeet shows symptoms of an illness. Account for increased heating and air conditioning bills. Parakeets tend to prefer a temperature between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 18 degrees Celsius and 26.5 degrees Celsius. If you live in an area where it tends to get very cold or very hot, your parakeet may require you to turn up your climate control systems, which could boost your energy and or gas bills. Forgetting to feed or give water to your bird is very dangerous to the bird's health and could over time reduce your bird's overall happiness and trust in you. Always be sure that your bird has enough clean drinking water and be sure to feed him an appropriate diet. Make sure your bird has access to seeds, grains, beans, vegetables, nutritious pellets, and occasional fruit. Do not give your bird chocolate, avocado, salty foods, garlic, onion, or any human snack foods. If you just purchased your budgie, give them about two weeks to become settled into their new environment. One of the things that they will do during this time is locate their food and water dishes in their cage. Place the budgie in a busy room during their adjustment period if possible. Although this may seem counterproductive, having them in a busy room will actually let them get accustomed to seeing people as companions rather than threats. Have the cage next to you when you are doing relaxing activities such as watching TV and reading. You do not have to directly interact with your budgie when you have his cage close to you. It's more important for the budgie to be comfortable in your presence. Interact with the budgie without touching them. Once the budgie is comfortable being around you, you can start working on interacting with them more often. You will still need to be very patient with them so that you don't increase their anxiety. Be mindful not to make eye contact with your budgie. Budgie's eyes are located on the sides of their heads, which is common in prey animals. Because humans' eyes are positioned on the front of the head, looking directly at a budgie signals to him that you are a predator. You definitely don't want him to see you this way. Place your hand on the outside of the cage and talk to your budgie in soothing tones. In this way, they will be able to see your hand as non-threatening. Your soothing voice will help to reduce their anxiety. Give the budgie about a week to become comfortable with your hand being outside the cage. Place your hand inside the budgie's cage. Open the cage door slowly when you do this so that you do not startle your budgie. Do not try to touch them or anything else in the cage. The goal is to have the budgie get comfortable with your hand being in his physical space. It may take about a week for him to become comfortable with this. Having a treat in your hand each time that you reach into the cage to change your budgie's food and water will encourage them to get more comfortable with your hand. Encourage your budgie to step onto your finger. Once the budgie is comfortable with having your index finger close to him, slowly place your index finger on his chest just above his feet and gently push up. Make sure to use light pressure when you place your finger on their chest. If you are too forceful when you place your index finger on your budgie's chest, they may get nervous and fly away from you. Your budgie may not understand this movement at first and may fly away. 
Just be patient with him and try again until he understands what you want them to do. Take your budgie out of the cage. Now that your budgie is comfortable stepping onto your hand, it is now time to practice taking them out of their cage. Use slow movements and a soothing voice to coax them out of the cage. Your budgie may be reluctant to leave the cage because that is their comfort zone. You can try enticing them out with treats, but do not rush them. It is okay if your budgie flies away or flies right back into their cage when you get him out of the cage. Walk with them to a different room when they are perched on your finger. Once your budgie is comfortable being perched on your finger outside of their cage, take them to rooms that are unfamiliar to them. The bathroom is a common room that budgie owners will take their bird to. Your budgie may fly off your finger because it's a new environment. Once again, do not chase them if they do this. Offering your budgie a treat in a different room may help them be more comfortable in this new room. Give your parakeet toys. Parakeets love to play, and providing your bird with fun, challenging toys will make him happy and content. Be sure your parakeet has toys that allow him to climb, as well as toys that are colorful and make noise. Give your parakeet a swing inside his cage and make sure he has plenty of perch space inside the cage. Get your parakeet toys that are safe to chew on. Look for toys with wooden components or solid, sturdy beads that can be bitten and chewed. Consider whether you want to clip your budgie's wings. This can be a difficult decision to make once you get your bird. If you have questions about clipping the bird's wings, talk to your veterinarian. Trimming your bird's wings does not cause it any pain when done properly by a professional. With its wings trimmed, your budgie will not be able to fly for a few months until its feathers grow back. That way, you can leave its cage door open and the budgie can explore more with less chance of it escaping. This can make it easier to train. On the other hand, not everyone likes the idea of altering a bird. There are also concerns that the inability to fly can be distressing to a bird. Notice whether your bird cuddles with you. Cuddling is a clear indicator that your parakeet likes you and wants to bond with you. If your bird gently nuzzles against your hand, climbs around on your body, grooms you, and rubs against your neck, you will know that your parakeet likes you and feels safe around you. Look at your bird's wings. We typically think of a bird's wings as being an instrument of flight, but many birds, including parakeets, use their wings as a sort of body language. If your parakeet is flapping his wings, which may give the appearance of trying to fly in place, it is a good sign of your relationship with your bird. Wing flapping is one way parakeets display happiness around humans. Notice your bird's tail. Just as your parakeet's wings can be an indication of happiness, so too can his tail feathers. When a bird wags its tail, similar to a dog's tail, it usually means that your bird is happy to see you. Though, it can also indicate that your bird is about to relieve himself. Similarly, flipping the tail up and down is generally considered an indication of happiness and can be taken as a sign that your bird likes you. Observe your bird's body posture. The way your parakeet carries himself around you can tell you a lot about how he feels in your presence. Taking his body posture along with individual pieces of body language like wing and tail fluctuations can help you get a better picture of your bird's level of comfort around you. Watch your bird's eyes. While human pupils dilate and constrict in response to light or darkness, a parakeet's pupils can change in size as a physical reaction to the bird's mood and environment. Flashing, the widening of the pupils, and pinning, the narrowing of the pupils, are controlled by the bird 
and typically indicate excitement or pleasure, though these behaviors can also be an indication of fear or anxiety. Observe whether your bird hangs upside down. Hanging upside down is a common practice for birds. It is typically done when birds are happy and feel safe, as the position tends to leave the bird vulnerable. If your bird hangs upside down in your presence, it may be a sign that he likes you and trusts you. Notice your bird's beak and head movements. Parakeets use their beaks for a variety of purposes, from physical tasks to conveying messages. If your bird is performing any of the following activities, it is typically a sign of happiness and comfort around you. If you really love budgies and want budgie t-shirt, hoodie, tote bag, or even budgie pillow, please call our Teespring Budgie store. Subscribe to our budgie community. Watch next. Budgie morning noise. Or the best pet bird for your kids.